and girls, it's Miss Solari. Welcome to Library Land, and thank you for joining me for this episode of Spring Into STEM. Today, we're going to make a homemade lava lamp. You might have watched a few episodes back where we made a rainbow in a jar, where we used all different liquids, and all those liquids layered because of the property of density. Remember, density is how much stuff, how much matter, which everything is made up of, is packed in a, in a space or a volume. Some objects have really high density. Think of a penny. Even though it's small, it would sink to the bottom in a glass of water. Or something that could be really large might be, be a big sheet of styrofoam. It would float if we put it in water. So objects sink or float in liquids depending on the density. Today we're going to make a homemade lava lamp and that's going to rely on the property of density. We're going to use, of course, everything hopefully we can find right at home. Some cooking vegetable oil, water, food coloring, and Alka-Seltzer taps. When we combine this, our food coloring drops which are going to be more dense than the oil, should start to rise and fall because of the Alka-Seltzer. So let's get started. First, we're going to measure to start about a half a cup of oil. Make sure to put the lid back on. Actually, boys and girls, this is a little bit more than a half a cup. This is about a cup and a half because this is a really big measuring glass. It's two cups. So I'm only going to use a little bit to start, a half a cup, just to see how much of the container it fills. Actually, I'm probably going to need about a cup of oil. And we're actually going to use the whole cup and a half because we want to see as much of this reaction as possible. And then we're going to add, whoops, just about a half a cup of water. And what we notice is that property right away of density. The water goes right to the bottom and we see that clear layer of water and we see that pretty yellow oil. Now, where is the food coloring going to go in this? So we can see, we're going to add a couple drops of blue food coloring. As you can see, the food coloring is less dense than the oil and begins to go to the bottom. We're going to add a few more so you can see this reaction. Uh, I'm sorry, boys and girls, I might have said less dense, but it's more dense. When an, odd, an item is more dense, it sinks. When it's less dense, it floats. We're now going to add our special secret ingredient, an Alka-Seltzer tab. These can be pretty powerful, so we're going to start with about half to a quarter of a tab and see what happens with the food coloring. Look, boys and girls, the food coloring is floating to the top. Even though it's more dense, it should be sinking. The reaction with the Alka-Seltzer is creating a homemade lava lamp, and all those drops are shooting up and rising and sinking. Isn't that so cool to see? So our homemade lava lamp relies again on the property of density. How much matter in a given space or volume? When you have more density, you sink in a liquid. If you have less density, you float. But in this case, we added our special secret ingredient, an Alka-Seltzer tab, and our food coloring drops, which were more dense, began to rise. Isn't that so pretty and cool to see? Try this out at home. I can't wait to see your experiments. Thank you for joining me. This is Miss Solari signing off. Bye-bye.